Yo, what up? So today we're going to be reacting to Eurovision, the winner of Eurovision, actually, Sweden. <laughs> a lot of people are pissed off about this one. Now, there's a ton of drama surrounding this performance. There always is with Eurovision, but this one is particularly sus. So the winner of Eurovision, that country gets to host Eurovision for the following year. And Sweden won with tons of jury votes, by the way. And if you guys don't know, next year is going to be the 50th anniversary of ABBA winning Eurovision, ABBA being a Swedish group. <laughs> so it kind of makes sense that they that Eurovision would want Sweden to win so that next year Sweden can host this 50th anniversary of ABBA and, you know, make Eurovision a lot of money probably. But anyway, that's the conspiracy theory going around. We're going to check out the performance and see what I think about it. I got no idea. I didn't watch Eurovision this year, but we do have a problem. So for some reason, Eurovision has blocked the grand final performances in the U.S. Why? I, we, we don't, we already don't get to compete. <laughs> <laughs> at least let us watch what is this so anyway we're gonna be reacting to the winner's performance which is the performance that the group does after they win it's gonna be close enough okay i'm gonna be a little bit harsher than usual your vision reddit got me worked up all right okay That sand? This is not a time. It's time to say goodbye, God. Until we okay. meet again. Now keep in mind she's probably got tons of adrenaline rushing through her right now. Because this is not the end. It will come a day. It's not bad so far. Wait, what was that? What? It sounds like she's clearing her throat. Yeah. When we will find It looks live so far, which is which is good. It is difficult to keep those breathy, airy type of vocals, you know, very pop sounding without going flat. She does go a little bit flat here and there, but it is a difficult style to sing that way, particularly given the uh, circumstances. So, so far, it's kind of a, it's a neat song. I'm curious about the chorus. Okay. I actually really like this so far. I really don't mind this at all. A lot of people were saying they wanted Finland to win, so we're gonna react to that next, but this is pretty cool. Her vocals are pretty killer. Kind of a weird performance though. I really do like her vocals though. And I do think they're live as well. So, you know, it, 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 it's good, but I don't know. I don't know that I would like, I don't know. I would have to see some of the other performances. I do like it a lot. I like how powerful her vocals get, especially going up into this part of her voice here. But yeah. I have no idea what she's saying though. That was a little bit weird. What was that? 
the mouth didn't quite match up with what she was singing there it's from my view but it's i guess it's fine <laughs> uh the one thing i i don't like about this performance though so far is the the little filter effect that they have on her mic that makes it sound like she's singing through a tin can i don't know if the music video sounds like that but it does make it a little bit hard to hear her vocals and to really give like a pure judgment of them i mean this acoustic version I don't look I, I actually don't mind the song the vocal style is a, is a little bit it's maybe a little bit too too like maybe too much in the chorus there it works still it's tough to get through those lines too like how strong she's singing and uh how long this chorus goes on It's also a very passionate song, which is getting me a little bit confused in the sense that like when someone has this sort of like really passionate type of a singing style where it sounds like they're really trying to oh, all I care about is you or whatever this uh, hold that she has going into this chorus. The words I can't understand at all, but having this like uh, it, it can get a little bit tight. I got to say it's probably intentional. Uh, she's singing at this level but that's one thing that as a listener sometimes i don't enjoy if i can't tell if the singer is struggling or not <laughs> it sometimes isn't an enjoyable thing but okay you know actually the more that i listen to this especially this acoustic version the more i kind of am getting a little bit of a a feeling of sia they, they do some very similar things in some parts of their voices i am going to see if the final performance is any different I do hear a slight difference between the finalist performance and the winner's performance. The finalist performance, she seems to have some sort of a playback with her, and also the audio quality is better. But aside from that, you know, it's pretty, I, I, I'm not mad at the song. It's not like it's a bad song or anything. Let's check out what the comments have to say though. It's not a bad song. There's no denying that Lorene is a talented artist. That being said, I don't think this performance was worthy of a win. It was kind of like, in terms of like the stage, the staging, it was kind of, kind of plain i guess i did like the song though and i do really like her vocals abba's 10th anniversary sweden wins eurovision song contest abba's 25th anniversary sweden wins eurovision song contest abba's 50th anniversary sweden celebrates eurovision song contest she's already won before what is it impossible it's sung no playback? Otherwise, it's just incredible. Never seen a voice that deep while dancing. Actually, yeah, to be very fair, her voice was incredibly stable while she was dancing. For some reason, that didn't even click into my mind. And I did really like how powerful and full her vocals were. The outrage isn't about which song is better or if Lorene deserved to win. People got bitter because they loved one song, they voted for it, and in the end, it didn't matter because the jury has more power to choose whatever they want. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, Eurovision's always a blast. I know a lot of people's favorites was Finland's Cha Cha Cha. So we're gonna check that out and I'm gonna let you know what I think. I'm gonna let you know if I think that Finland should have won or not. Just my opinion. So anyway, since recording this video, this song has actually been stuck in my head. <laughs> so I actually kind of really like it now. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Subscribe for the Finland video and check out the Patreon link to that in the description. See you in the next one.